Hi, good afternoon. How you doing? This is Thorn Ola here from Dream Development and Design, coming to you with another episode of Dream Designs. One of the pieces of information I want to share with you today, it's something that I've done some reflection on because I have done this as a soccer player very frequently, and it's visualization. You know, as a goalkeeper especially, you are using your whole body. You have to play with your feet and you have to make saves and catch balls and so on. So my visualization process involved more of the body than the average player. So my, <laughs> I did a lot of visualizing and I still do. Now, as I continue to grow and learn, I've come to discover there are some techniques which cause your visualization to become more powerful. It's a part of creating. It's a part of the, part of the, the thought process that causes your thought like the iPhone was an idea in Steve Jobs' mind, and he visualized and worked with people, and it became something that I, I now have, okay? And you now have as well. Similarly, when you have a thought or an intent, and you start visualizing, that's part of the creative process. So it's very important that we learn how to visualize efficiently. One of the mistakes we make as human beings, we only pay attention to the things that we see and we only work on things that we can touch or feel. The most important uh, tool that you have in your arsenal is your mind. So train that more than anything else. If you have a big belly and you have no, <laughs> let that wait, trust me. Cause you can be the sexiest person and nothing in there. So work on the mind. Today is about visualization. I'll give you some very easy steps to help your process of visualization. One, when visualizing, remember to include your whole body, okay? So insert yourself into your dream and see yourself dressed in a very particular manner. For example, before a game, I would visualize what I'm going to be wearing. I would know what uniform I'm wearing, know what boots I'm wearing, and I would see myself in my full kit. I wouldn't just see myself randomly, okay? You have to be very specific with the visualiz visualization process. Secondly, include feedback. Now, only include positive feedback. And I would add a, a note to this at the end. Now, what, I mean by, what do I mean by include feedback? Well, if you are selling a product, for example, give yourself the feedback in the visualization, create an, a, a customer in your mind, and have that customer say to you how pleasing your product is and how excited they are to continue to use it. Most importantly, how pleased they are about your service. Now, as you go through this process of visualizing, you continue to create momentum and thought. I mentioned that in a previous video. A thought without momentum is like a car sitting. It's worthless. This is a piece of a metal and other, other materials. But if you have momentum, that's when it becomes a force. That's when it becomes uh, something that makes a, a great change in your lives. So one, involve your whole body, you know, visualize, see yourself dressed perfectly in your highest form. Um, include feedback. Allow, if you're dealing with customers, that is, um, or people, people are customers. I, my, the terms I may use is maybe in, in business, but it applies to life. Life is a business experience. Um, include feedback. Make sure it's positive feedback. The note I wanted to add to that was, as far as your thoughts are concerned, and if, if you get this point, then you will never have to look at any of my other videos, and you literally will start as, as a snowball effect. If you get this, everything else would fall into place. When you think, only think about what you want. The world may have printed and produced statistics on what may or may not happen. Ignore those. If you're applying for a job, you only need one person in charge to like you or your resume. So just think of that only. Don't think of the possibility that there might be a person who doesn't like dreads, or there might be a person who doesn't like people with accents, or there might be a person who doesn't like black or white or whatever the case is. Ignore those possibilities. Focus your attention on what you want. That will definitely influence some major changes in your life. Keep your thoughts positive, visualize with specificity, and include feedback. Remember, keep your eyes on the prize and stop 
putting things off. Have a pleasant evening. Thornholder here from Dream Designs.